Yo, what's up? My name is Petraus. Welcome back to some more Poke MMO randoms. If you don't know, in my opinion, randoms is the best way to step your feet into, get your feet wet, and kind of learn about Poke MMO PvP. If you think you know where I'm at in game, by the way, go ahead and leave a comment letting me know what you guys think. So, we're jumping into some randoms today. It's the start of a new season. Uh, every three months, a new season begins, so my ranking has been pretty much reset. Uh, I think I'm at 2-1 and one right now. Yeah, 2-1, and one, you know, only three games played. Let me road to the mushroom cap. Just kidding. I'm probably not going to play nearly enough games to get that, but it's a really cool item. Now, let's go ahead and jump into game number one and analyze what we got going on. We got Choice Specs, Camera Up lead against Wall Rain. Now, unfortunately, that might be one of our worst matchups. So, Camera Up is a four times week to water, water Pokemon. So, I can never keep this thing in here, um, unfortunately. I'm going to assume that my Pokemon is going to go for some sort of brine or surf or water type move. The question is, what do I want to bring in to counteract that? I could bring in Blastoise and go for a Toxic and kind of cripple this thing to some extent. Could also have access to Ice Beam, which I'm going to look out for. So my my team is my team is quite weak to this Wall Rain. Um, so I do want to be aware of that. Hmm. I could go pro I also need to figure out how my opponent plays. It's going to be really interesting here. My safest play is to just go Blastoise. I could go Primeape and go for a either a bulk up or a close combat. Depending on how greedy I'm feeling. Oh, it's Curse Wall Rain. Interesting. That okay, so that means this thing is most likely um Curse Avalanche Rest and then like Sleep Talk maybe or maybe some other physical move. Um so I'm going to talk to this thing. I'm basically going to bait him into a bit of a rest. And I think I have to switch out here, unfortunately. Or I have to... He's probably Resto Chesto. Um, he's not going to... This is tough. I will not lie, guys. This becomes a really, really tough battle. Um, thankfully, he doesn't really have much to damage my Blastoise with. But he's just going to be doing so much base damage. I'm going to throw up some Scalds for some Chip. I basically have to bait him into a rest. Probably should just rapid spin at this point for speed, but I don't know if it'll matter here. Ice Skill Spear comes out. Not doing much damage, thankfully. Do I have leftovers on this thing? Thankfully, I do. So I'm still tanking a lot from him. And the fact that he spear is really important. My team is really weak to ice type moves. So I have to be really careful here. This is a tough one. I'm after, I have to bait him into a rest basically twice. Uh, I'm just trying to keep stalling. I don't know if I need the speed boost. Like, I guess I can, I'll get one speed boost up just in case he wants to make a switch or something crazy. Um, but essentially, I'm ba yeah, I'm baiting him into a rest, and then I need to bring in. Ugh, this is gonna be tough, though. This is just gonna be so tough for my team to answer. I have to bait him into a rest, and then I have to bring in like Venomoth and go for some sort of weird play. I think Venomoth's gonna be my best bet because he's gonna be cursed up so much that Primate close combat isn't gonna be enough damage to kill him. I'm gonna scald here. I'm just I'm baiting him into a rest. Trying to, and I know he has rest. I could have switched here. So I know these. What's the toxic damage here? He's probably gonna rest this turn, right? He knows that he's doing no damage to me. So it's most likely he just rests this turn. Because if he doesn't, I think he's dead to he's dead, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and make the Venomoth play. He should rest this turn. If he makes a crazy play and randomly goes for Icicle Spear. Okay, there we go. We, we, so we, we predicted the rest. I'm assuming he's also Chesto Berry, which is what's going to suck. Have we seen leftovers actually on him? He's not Chesto. We saw leftovers on him. Okay. I should have thought about that more. Um, that's actually good for me. So now I can go ahead and um, I think sub up first and then Quiver Dance. Or what's the play here? Uh, sub doesn't matter because he has Ice Steel Spear. So I'm just going to Quiver Dance up once. The scary thing is going to be trying to kill this thing with Bug Buzz. He should sleep for at least one or two turns. Wall Rain's really, really slow. I'm going to Bug Buzz here. I'm not going to Quiver Dance a second time, unfortunately. I can't even two-shot. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I really thought I was going to be able to two-shot there. Okay, well, at least... Okay, I'm going to Bug Buzz again. This sucks, I'll be honest. At least I'm forcing him into either resting or killing my Pokemon. He can only do one. Ice Skill Spirit doesn't even KO. That's so good. Um, but I also think that I can't kill with that range. That's insane that Quiver Dance... I'm going to disable him. So, I'm faster, right? So, what I'm going to do here is disable his 
Icicle Spear, so he actually can't kill me. He might go for a rest here, but that'd be pretty freaking greedy. He does go for the rest. Wow. Icicle Spear might be his only attacking move, though. He might be Waterfall. I can't believe he went for the rest. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to Quiver Dance up once or twice more then. He shouldn't insta-wake up. Um... This is weird. It's really weird. I'm going to Quiver Dance up one more time. And that should put me in range to two-hit KO him with Bug Buzz, but it's scary because he could potentially wake up here. He's in a switch! What? I'm so much faster than you right now. What's... Do, I don't have the move pull for this thing, do I? That's crazy. I can't tell if my opponent is a god or insane. Um, because Bug Buzz is not going to do enough damage here. I think I just go for sub and kind of scout what my opponent's trying to do. That is actually crazy, though, I'll be honest. Flamethrower. I am blown away by that. Um, I think I just go... Do I really just go for the Bug Buzz chip here? Or can I just make... Do I make a safe... Do I need to... Should I keep my Venomoth around? Man, I can't believe he switched out on that. Like, this is this is a weird game. This is a weird game, fellas. Uh, I could make a switch into Blastoise here, or Glidar. I am baffled by that. Um, I feel like I make the Glidar play. I'm baffled by that switch. I don't think I want to sacrifice this thing. It sucks because I am three times Quiver Dance. What are the odds I live a flamethrower? Does this thing four times resist Bug Buzz? I think it four times resist is the issue. Yeah, I'm gonna go Glider on the flamethrower. Hopefully this thing doesn't have like HP ice. Like that would be the only worst case scenario. Flamethrower does a lot more damage than I expected though. Wow, is that a crit? Wow, that's just a very, very strong flamethrower. Um, it's only a 10% chance to burn. Part of me wants to just roost here. I'm faster than him. I'm sure to make the Roost play. I think Roost will actually make me take less damage from it as well. It'll make me resist it instead of taking... Actually, no, no, no. It's, it's the same. So, Wall Ring comes in. It's still asleep, but now it's all of its boosts are reset. So, now I can just go to uh, Primeape and go for the, the CC slash bulk up. What a weird game. Really, really weird game. So, I know my opponent is uh, Curse, Rest, Icicle Spear. I assume his Waterfall is the last move or something. Do I want to bulk up here or just CC? I'm really fast. I really want to bulk up here. It's a little greedy. He should never be able to kill me. The question is, can he bring in another Pokemon that's faster? If he can bring like a, a Starmie here to like Psychic me, this does kind of suck for me. But if he can't, if he, if he doesn't have like a fast Psychic type, then I'm good. If he has like an Alakazam or a Starmie, this would be pretty unfortunate. Cacturn? That's fine. Oh my god, I'm definitely faster than this thing. I can just bulk up here and go for the CC still. I'm scared that Ice Punch won't kill. I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to go for close combat. Yeah, absolutely destroy the Cacturn. I don't want to risk Ice Punch not killing. It very well might, especially with Life Orb and everything, but... Cacturn's surprisingly bulky. Plus it's level 85 compared to level 79. I think I'm faster than this thing. And I have Ice Punch. And he's he's physical. And I okay oh it. Okay, wow. My opponent does not have either doesn't have an answer for Primeape, or he's just misplaying. I don't know which one. Um Can't tell. But Primeape is making fast work of his team. Does this thing have fake out? This thing's faster. You should have brought this in. I guess he thought like I guess I might be able to live I think I might live in attack. Yeah, I'm only minus one special. I'm neutral. I'm going to try it. This might just kill me. He does have fake out. Okay, now I switch out then. Okay. Yeah, if, okay. If, wait, if he had fake out Empom, he a thousand percent should have brought... Okay, he misplayed really hard. He lost two Pokemon there for no reason. Literally no reason. Um, I'm going to assume some sort of return or something is coming out. I might go to Gligar. Hmm... It sucks that I, like, Eruption on Camerupt is so bad. I just never outspeed anything. It's just really tough. Um, 
yeah, I think I just made the Gligar play. I should be able to tank it pretty well. Eevee like Gligar with Roost. And then I could just like EQ it down a little bit. Low kick doing 9.3. I can't believe he he low kicked against my Primeape expecting what switch in. Wow. Uh, I just go for EQ here. If he has a flying type, he'll bring it in now. He goes for a U-turn. U-turn's a good play there. Get some I mean take life orb damage, honestly. The, the chip is actually really good for me. He goes into like okay, yeah, I EQ this thing down. Um, 24%, not much damage. I have to switch here. I mean, it's going to kill me, right? So, hmm, I'm faster, right? I can just, I can at least U-turn and get some chip. I think I just U-turn into, I guess, Primeape, but I'm scared this thing wakes up and kills me. I might actually U-turn into Venomoth. I can just go camera up here. I, I, he hasn't shown the waterfall, but I feel like he has it. Hmm. What does Nightshade do? It does, it does damage based on level. He has a pretty high HP stat, though. This is weird. I want to bring him Prime up here, but it's really scary if he... Um... God, if he wakes up, it's so scary. I don't know how many turns he's been asleep. I'm going to bring in the Prime Ape here. If he wakes up and I still spears me, it's really, really scary. Please do not kill me. <sighs> yeah, that's that's worst case scenario, but I don't know if there was a better play. Maybe I'm wrong. So now I have to answer this thing somehow. I think I just bring in Camera Upt. <sighs> but it's... Dude, I have... I have two Pokemon, one that is two times weak to water and one that is two times weak to ice, which wall rain counters, like everything. My team just does not have a good wall rain answer. I could go Venomoth and disable. I think I just go back to Venomoth, I guess, and just go for the disable play, maybe. Ah, oh, it's so tough, dude. He might just insta switch as well or something. Okay, we have the disable off. Let's see if he goes for like a wall, a wall, a waterfall or something because of that, or goes for like a curse. Yeah, he goes for it. Okay, perfect. So we basically buy, we buy, we buy a free turn for me. Uh, get a little bit of a black sludge heal. He does get a leftovers heal, which is really unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna start going for quiver dances. Waterfall shouldn't OKO me. I'm pretty or like kill me from this range. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think he can fake out me, dude. Dealing with this wall rain is a nightmare, my man. Uh, this sucks. So he's always going to fake out me here. Fake out definitely kills me. I just have to make a switch into either Blastoise or Glidar. Um. Ouch, dude. This sucks, man. It just sucks. What is this thing's base defense? 100. I'm going to make the Glidar play. Glidar should tank it better and it has recovery. It's really, really hard for me to answer this wall rain. Like, I don't know if I, I don't know if I could win this game just sh out of the sheer wall rain, which is really, really sad. I just roost here. He might go into wall rain immediately. Yep, kind of expected as such, but I wonder if the only way I, this might be the longest recording. I wonder if the only way I beat this wall rain is PP stall. It might actually be one of the only ways, or if I can like get a camera up prediction play into it, but that's gonna be so hard. So he goes for Icicle Spear here. I'm going to go into Blastoise and just Toxic this thing, I guess, and force it to do something. Icicle Spear does no damage. Perfect. It's always going to have Rest, though. This thing is so hard for my team to deal with. I feel like I have to force it into Rest with, uh, with Toxic. He might just start Cursing here, which is pretty scary. He just switches. Oh, sure. I'm super... Wow, I'm super okay with that play. I'm super okay with that play. That is really good for me, actually. Um, Blastoise can tank this pretty well. The fake out. The question is, do I want to go Gl Gligar anyway, just in case? I think I do. Gligar tanks it slightly better and has recovery. I think there's just no reason not to go Gligar here for the fake out. Yeah, 20%. Can roost that off super healthily. Toxic plus life orb beating down this Amapom. I can't believe he went that there. So here, I think I go U-turn. I'm not faster, which is fine. I just go U-turn. He might have Ice Punch. Oh, that'd be really scary. Please don't have Ice Punch. That'd be so stupid. That'd be so weird on this set. You already you already have Wall Rain. Please don't have Ice Punch. 
If he has Ice Punch, though, it's a genius play to, like, bait me in with the Amber Palm. It's really genius if he has Ice Punch. Okay, my opponent is having a tough day. I apologize, my man. So I can U-turn here for free and go into Camera Upt. I clicked that really fast. Should I really have gone Camera Upt there? So I assume this thing dies to Poison. And, yeah, okay. But even so, he can bring in Blaziken here. I don't know if I should have gone camera up here, I'll be honest. I guess I can Earth Power. He brings in Persian. Another really fast threat, dude. Oh, that's brutal. He has Water Pulse here, 100%. Uh, I'm just going to go Blastoise. He might Nasty Plot. He either Nasty Plots or Water Pulses. I'm just going to make the Blastoise play and, like, Toxic Spam. This game is actually surprisingly tough, dude. My opponent's Wall Rain is single-handedly, like, walling my team. I can keep it in check a little bit with Toxic, but at the same time, you can always just rest. And then, like, I need a special attacker to come in. And, like, oh, man, it's really, it's really, really, this is a very, very tough random battle. This is a very, very tough game. I'll be totally, totally honest. This thing could have, like, HP electric, but even so, this thing's Life Orb, which is actually good for me. Uh, I think I'm going to make the Toxic play. So if, if he goes wall, if he goes anything here, the Toxic play is really good. I could have also gone Gligar here, potentially. Return is a decent amount of damage. Wow, I am that does suck how much damage that dealt, not gonna lie. I think I go Gligar now. My Blastoise took a lot here, which sucks. I feel like if my opponent played this better, I, I think I, I think I would have lost by now. Which is crazy. I'm not sure. It's a it's a tough one. It's a tough game. My prime have got so much value. I can still lose this, which is it's five v three, but it's it's a very methodical. There's a lot of there's a lot of game left. There's a lot of game left in this. Return to twenty nine percent to me. Okay, I can just roost here for free and let poison plus life orb beat him up. Uh, I guess he could water pulse and that might kill me, which would be literally game losing. I feel like, but he's he's no he's physical. He's physical. He showed me he showed me return. He shouldn't have water pulse. I don't know what the rest of it is. He might be like some dark type move and stuff. Okay, he just goes wall ran. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we got a free roost up. Get our glider healthy. Oh my god, guys. This game is a nail biter through and through. This thing is scary, dude. So I can just U-turn here for chip. Always. Instead of hard switching. A U-turn into Blastoise, I assume. This game is so scary, man. I haven't seen the waterfall yet, but I'm pretty sure he has it. Like, what I've seen... Maybe I'm being so dumb. I've seen Rest, Curse, Icicle Spear, right? I haven't seen his last move. Unless I'm forgetting it incorrectly. Or like, forgetting it, yeah. Just Toxic this thing. I could actually go for... Um, rapid Spin slash... I think I have a Rapid Spin here, or Scald slash Ice Beam. Uh, predicting the possible Persian switch. Yeah, I'm actually gonna scald here, predicting a Persian switch. It'd be yes, that's a really good play by yes, beautiful. So he hits, that's a really good play by me and a really good switch by him. And then his Persian should die to the toxic damage. That was a fantastic play. I feel like if I, yeah, this was a very close game. My opponent, me and my opponent both played this game fantastically. I feel like that play is the best play there because it, it basically gives me like my blastoise then beats his wall rain slash plays again he switches it in there expecting a toxic against his wall rings he knows it's the only thing i can do um but his, his persian's already toxic my opponent's been playing this game pretty well i feel for him um he shouldn't be able to just kill me here unless he has something crazy if even if he does i'd have toxic on my dude yeah I was about to say, he might he might have thunder punch but even if he does i'm actually okay with it so my opponent does show thunder punch which sucks a little bit but it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, I think I just go Gligar here and look to EQ. I can still lose this game. <laughs> I keep saying that, but I, I really can. Uh, I just EQ here. Maybe get some chip on the wall rain. He stays in. Does that kill it? Not quite. It lives at 1 HP. He he stayed into U-turn when he's slower. And then he dies to life orb. Wow! Okay, my opponent. That was a huge misplay. He made two mid... I guess, I don't know, the Persian switch wasn't a misplay, it was just a really good play, and I think I played around it. That, um, that play on the Blaziken, though, was a misplay, that's unfortunate. Um, no, I can always U-turn here. I'm gonna go ahead and go for that. 
question is what do i like what do i u-turn into here man it's so tight it's so tough i think i have to u-turn into venomoth and like if it dies it dies you know sure um but then i can like disable it or get a bug buzz chip or do something and then i can bring in noctowl or camera up to hopefully do i still might lose this game camera being slower than this guy is such a big deal such a big deal Oh, this is tough. Get a free U-turn off here. I go into Venomoth here every time. I'm trying to think ahead. Because now he only has one Pokemon left. So he only, he only has limited options, right? So let's see what he does. I Soul Spear, does that crit? Yeah, it does take me out. That's okay. <sighs> That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. This is tough. I can still lose this game. I think my best bet is going to bring in Noctowl. I'm showing my last Pokemon, which is a little scary. I'm going to bring a Noctowl and go for a Toxic, I think. I can also Roost. I'm faster than him. I can Roost and dodge Icicle Spear doing a lot of damage. I think that's my play. It's just crazy, like, how slow this game becomes. Because I can't deal with his, his wall rain, so. Crit. Another crit. Back-to-back -back crits. Uh, only hit twice, though. Wow. Okay. Him only hitting twice there really saves me. But at the same time, he double crit, so. Makes sense. So now I can Roost here. And I should be okay, I believe. Because Ice Soul Spear is not going to hit me for super effective now. Let's check the damage. 33%. The thing that sucks is if I don't Roost here. So my Nightshade is going to do, what, 83 damage? Wolverine has a really high HP pool, though. I just, I have to keep Roosting. Yeah, this this play sucks, but I literally, I literally have to keep Roosting. Otherwise, I'm just dead. I have to wait until he rests. And then... I think once he rests, I immediately switch into camera up and look for eruption. I think that's... Yeah, that's my path to victory. That is my path to victory. Keep this thing healthy. Wait until he rests. Insta switch into camera up. Uh, look for eruption. But he has to, like, sleep multiple turns or whatever. But then even if that doesn't... If that happens, I can still win with... PP stall plus, like, nightshade. And maybe I'll be able to poke him down enough. We'll see. Oh, it's gonna be t it's gonna be tough. He's going for curse here. Wow. Okay. Thankfully, eruption is special. I think I just go for nightshade here and hope that he doesn't rest and like goes for damage or something, and then like nightshade plus toxic kills. I think here I can nightshade. I could potentially switch to camera up here, but it's so greedy. So nightshade's always gonna be doing twenty six percent. That's really good to know. I could have switched a camera up there predicting that rest, but it's scary. But I guess it's not that scary. Okay, I'm gonna go camera up here. I have to hope that he sleeps for two turns, is the meme. Which is pretty likely, I feel like. It's pretty likely here. If he insta wakes up, I have to switch back. If he insta if he insta wakes up, he'll icicle spear and not waterfall, though. This game is so tough and so long. This is like 24 minute almost random game. That's crazy. Stays asleep. I definitely go for eruption here and not fire blast or HP grass. I need the damage. We only do 36%? What? Why is camera up so weak? Okay. Either way, we stay it and go for eruptions here. Dude, what? This does more damage than HP Grass. Stab, 100 HP. What? This Pokemon is so weak. That's crazy. He's, he goes for Curse? I guess he can rest here because he's faster. Oh my god. I can't believe that. Okay. So I know that he's going to rest here. Is there any smart play I can make? I don't think so. I think I just have to stay in and keep going for Eruption. Oh, I'm faster somehow. Wait, what? What did he go? Oh, he's cursed down, so he's slower. Oh, and it... Oh, okay, that's GG's. I totally did not think about that. I did not think about the speed drops from curse. Oh, that's such a big deal. Wow. That game was insane. For, like, like 
oh my god, that game was crazy. Like, part of me, it, it's it's so interesting because part of me feels like I'm in entire control of that game the entire time, but at the same time, I'm always at a chance to make a misplay enough to just lose that game. I respect my opponent so much for sticking through that game and not FFing. I actually have so much because he knew that I couldn't answer the wall rain well. Um, I have so much respect for my opponent for not giving up. I, I love players who don't give up. I always love fighting through until the very end. Um, sometimes it's better to not do that and just save the mental and give up. Um, so maybe it's, it's like a toxic thing for me to like not want to give up. But man, I hate giving up. I can't help it. Whew, that was a crazy game one. I'm actually just shocked. That was fantastic. Great game. Um... Like, literally, what, a 23, 24-minute game to start a session? Uh, usually, if that happens, I would go ahead and just have that be a whole video. But you know what? I want to stick to a three-game a three game set, three-game series. I try to do three-game sessions on here with Pokemon Random. So, I'm just going to go ahead and stick to it and see where it goes. Wow. That game was a lot, though. I almost have to, like, just decompress. Take a breath after that 24-minute absolute slugfest like literally both me and my opponent just making making plays after plays i think my best play that game might have been the scald into the prediction persons persian switch absolutely um let me know what you guys think in the comments down below like what's your guys' favorite plays i would love that's a great comment that's a great question of the day sort of thing what are you guys favorite plays in these matches or in these randoms if you guys are enjoying the video please do make sure to leave a like leave a like for that for that slugfest leave a like for that game if you're still around if you if you watch that entire game let me know by leaving a like. That'd be very, very cool. So, Choice Band, Salamance Lead. Uh, Leftovers, Mycardo. Mycardo is camera up to tier. It's, I, I don't like these Pokemon that are like Fire Rock types, Fire Ground. It's not good. Um, but it has Stealth Rocks, so... And Flame Body, so it could be worse. Um, at least... Like, Mycardo is probably better than... Camera Up, because Camera Up's like an attacker. Whereas, like, Camera... Or Mycardo is at least, like, utility. And is used to, like, set up things. Um... So, this is Starry. Um, I think I just stay in here and straight up go for Dragon Claws and just attack. Uh, what I'm, I'm choice banned. What I'm really scared of is Mean Look, Paris Trap, Shenanigans. Like, what I'm really scared of is Mean Look, Paris Trap, Junk that I would hate so much. Smooth Rock Tyranitar with Curse. I love that. Uh, I think I just go in for Dragon Claw and, and hope I do enough damage, especially with with the uh, with the Choice Band. He comes in on Earth Ring. Interesting. Am I lagging a little here? Internet's been so wonky today. I like this guy's name, Nekos. 53%. So as long as he's not Toxic Orb, I should be faster. Yeah. And now I can just spam another Dragon Claw. So we take out a po an opponent's Pokemon for free. We do have a pretty good lead there, but if he's Misdrevious, he might be able to take... Maybe he was scared of Crunch. Which is fair. Tropius comes in. What does Tro... HP Ice, maybe? HP Ice might kill. Maybe this thing's special. I think I just stay in and go for Dragon Claw. Call me crazy. Even if he's Ice Beam stuff. Actually, this thing might have a Dragon Claw or a Dragon Type move. Which is fine. I should be able to tank that. He's gonna go for Sunny Day. Set up Sun. I could just make a free switch to my cargo here. I feel like that has to be the play. Yeah, I feel like that's the play. If he likes solar beams or something, solar beams gonna do like no damage to Salamance. I don't know why he would make that play. Let's see what he does. He does go for the solar beam. Okay, I should have stayed in. I think doesn't Salamance four times resist solar beam? Okay, so I kind of int by switching out, I guess. I know I, I, I said at the beginning, like, dude, something I want to do more in randoms is just not switch out because players are just crazy. Um, let's do crazy stuff. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just sacrifice my, my, my cargo here. Um, actually, no, 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 no. I can just make this Salamence play. Yeah, let's do it. He's gonna switch. I'm gonna go Salamence. Okay, yeah, sure, dude. I can't believe he made a switch into Sandslash there. Maybe he was expecting Stealth Rocks, but he's faster than me. Dude, what is happening? Like, I would have got up Stealth Rocks for free there. We get an Intimidate proc on the Sandslash. Can I, I can hit this thing with what? Aqua Tail? Um, but I'm scared of, I'm gonna Aqua Tail, I think. I think I actually need the damage. I'm a little scared of the switch into Electropius. Wow, this does no damage. This thing, I guess, could have, like, Ice Punch, maybe? Stone Edge is a lot more than I thought. I'm not gonna lie. Is that a crit at all? Nope, no crit. So, crit would have killed me, which is pretty scary. Uh, I'm definitely gonna make the switch here. Uh, probably into Macargo. I could go, like, Tyranitar or Pyloswine as well, honestly. 
I don't want to go Tyranitar yet, because I don't want to give... Is this thing four times? Okay, no, no, no. Hmm. I think I make the cargo play. I should be able to live it, maybe? I can't believe he switched off Tropius. Stone Edge does kill. Okay, does it crit? Okay, no, it's super effective. Oh, no, it does crit. Okay. I thought I might have been able to live a Stone Edge, but maybe not. That's Either way, that's totally okay. Um, this thing is oddly difficult for me to deal with. Hmm. What can T-Tar do here? T-Tar might just be the play, but I'm just scared of giving him the Sandstream boost. But maybe it's fine. Could go Piloswine, tank one attack. Or I could just go for, like, Ice Shard. An Eviolite. There's a lot of options here. A lot of plays here. How fast is my pilot swine? Probably slower than Sand Slash, yeah. How fast is T-Tar slower than Sand Slash? Salamence has been fantastic, but I want to keep it healthy. Is this thing this thing's minus one attack as well. That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna make the pilot swine play. He can EQ me. I could Okay, a Giga Brain play here. He could just stone edge though. I could go Salamence though, it's baked like an EQ, but that play is so greedy. Um I don't want to set up rocks here or just go for attacks. Part of me really wants to set up rocks. I already lost my one rocker. I'm going to set up rocks too. This is really greedy. I'm hoping for a switch here. This is pretty greedy. I will not lie. He's minus one attack though. I'm surprised how much damage this thing is doing. We do get a switch. So we do get up free rocks. And rocks is really good this game. Against Pidgeot and Tropius. Also, we switched in Pidgeot into Piloswine. I don't know what he's thinking here. My opponent is crazy absolute madman um i don't know if i make the ice shard player crash i think I, just, I should be able to tank one hit i can just go for crash here he's just in a u-turn yeah what is happening i'm just gonna crash here and then i can follow it up with ice shard if necessary sand slash just comes in i might be able to kill this thing with stone it with with the stealth rock damage plus icicle crash plus icicle shard yeah i absolutely can kill this thing what is happening literally what is happening this is a Okay, this is a much, gonna be a much, it should be a much faster game, hopefully. A little scared of the Misdrevious, but what is happening in this game? To be fair, Piloswine is, even like Piloswine is kind of a freaking menace, boys. Oh, yeah, so much damage there. Um, What's this thing gonna do? This thing could have Giga Drain. I just, I still crash, dude. He subs. I'm gonna be able to hit him through the sub as long as I still crash hits. Are you kidding me? Or no, it's not Spear. I'm bad. Okay, I was thinking I still Spear. I'm actually just a bad player. Uh, that's totally okay. Uh, I can just keep crashing or shard to get shards not gonna KO though. I'd rather just I'd rather just yeah have them sub down. I, I am 90% accuracy, so I could miss. Yep, there's the miss. That does suck a little bit, but I'm feeling pretty good here to just ISO crash again. He could go for a quiver dance. Yeah, I'm totally okay with that though. I don't think he's gonna be able to one shot me. I'm a little scared of Giga Drain. I'll be honest. I think I just make the ice shard play here now. I don't know if I kill ever. Maybe I just make the Isolar Crash play. He might go for sub again. Bug Buzz is not going to KO me. Not even get close. Isolar Crash, take out the Venomoth. What is this game? I feel like my opponent threw away the... I love the name, but... You know what? That's okay. We're just weird plays. What can you do? It's the start of a new season. Um, I'm just always going to stay in here in Isolar Crash. I don't want to give him any more information. I don't want to switch out. If he Parasongs, sure. He hasn't mean looked yet, so I can still switch. Get the Isolar Crash off. So now he can, like, he can mean, he's probably going to mean look me here is my guess. So I have to make a play around that. I think I just go into Tyranitar, probably. Or Salamence. I don't know which is better. Salamence is faster, right? I feel like the Salamence play is better. He could go for randomly some attack. I feel like he should mean look. I'm going to go Salamence here. I think it's the better play. He switches. What is happening? He makes the switch. Doesn't even go for the mean look. Takes percent off the Tropius. Now I can just come in, get get an, get an Intimidate proc. Go for a free Dragon Claw. I just spam Dragon Claw here. This is a very strange game. Ladies and gentlemen and royal people of royalty. Very, very strange game. Persons of royalty. Pidgeot comes in. This thing is faster than me. But it's going to take a lot of damage from that. 
Um, it probably KOs me, but there's no reason for me to switch. I can just Vault Switch with Minin, slash, it's Puzzle, not Minin. Same Pokemon. Um, Brave Bird comes in. It is going to take me out. That's okay. I'm not super worried about that. I think I just bring in Puzzle here and go for a Vault Switch. Am I faster? I think I'm faster than this thing as well. No, we're speed tied. It's a little scary, but at the same time, it could be banded locked into... It could be banded and locked in, which is Vault Switch. We don't... We win the speed tie, but don't quite KO. Uh, I think I just go into Dugon here. Is this thing Life Orb? No, but it's probably Brave Birding. Uh, actually, I just bring in Tyranitar. Yeah, I always go T-Tar here. So if he's not, if he doesn't Brave Bird, Sandstream will take it out. Let's see, like, Roosts or something. He Brave Birds, get a little bit of damage on me. I don't care. And now I can crunch the Mistrevious. Easy peasy. Think this should be GG's. So game two was a lot faster. Uh, it still took, like, 11 minutes. Dude, Pokemon mode games are just, are just long, dude. They're just long games. I just crunch here. He might like perish on or recover, but he he has to recover here. I think he pain splits. He's not gonna do that much. Actually, it heals him a lot more than I expected. Not gonna lie. I'll check the crunch damage. Sixty six point two. That's enough to KO. GG's. Uh, on to game three. Hopefully, we get a good queue time. Last time we had like a hundred seconds, but there's not that much. There's not nearly as much to talk about that happened that that game. There we go. We get a super quick queue time because we're always lucky, <laughs> dude. Wow. New season of random battles. I feel like I'm always giga lucky at the start and then as the season goes on my rng starts to tank starting off strong though a four and one record 80 percent win rate 532 current rating super cool with all this jumping into game number three of the session uh not a bad team i feel like off the first glance black sludge swallow is actually kind of a demon i respect it uh houndoom not bad but really difficult to maneuver uh want to bring it on a flash fire move or something guts hariyama with Choice Band is interesting. I could bring that in on a status. Sturdy Fortress with Stealth Rocks and Rapid Spin and Vault Switch. That's really good. This Mamoswine set is terrible, but Mam Mamoswine set's a really cool Pokemon, so maybe it's fine. Actually, it could be insane. I don't really know yet. Zangoose. I didn't click ready. I really hope I don't get the glitch. Please don't get the glitch. That would cost me literally hours and hours of exporting time. Oh, please no. I should have clicked ready. It's an intimidate proc on me. That is a little unfortunate, and he can. He can't hit me, right? I don't think he can hit me for anything. Oh, uh, he might go for like a quiver dance here. He could be like quiver dance roost. Hmm. The play here is to either toxic or just gunk shot. I think I just gunk shot. Risking the miss sucks. And okay, hidden power does no. Okay, never mind. We're fine. I was scared of quiver dance shenanigans, but. The hidden power does nothing. We hit the gunk shot. Literally do more damage than the Masquerade. The Masquerade is such a bad Pokemon. It's actually pretty decent in randoms because of the... Uh, now I can just gunk shot here always for free. You can always gunk shot here for free. If he makes a switch, I have a chance. Of, I have a really high chance of poison. If he stays in, I'm doing a lot of damage. I have a high chance of poison. It is 70% accuracy. I could miss it. Do miss that one. Yep. Unfortunate. But you know what? That's okay. Um... I want to start stockpiling this thing's faster than me no there's no reason to stockpile here he's doing what 30 percent do i actually no i have to rest next turn i think i think i can gunshot one more time is that two max rolls and two high rolls in a low 29 the first one to 27 let's check the damage here 26 black sludge should put me out of range so i think i just rest here i should be out of kill range i don't have chesto but that's okay I could also just gunk shot and risk the kill, but it's so risky. I'd rather just rest and like switch out. Yeah. So what I'm going to do here is just rest and make a switch play. So I get a free rest, putting my swallow out at 100% HP. Also, I could just stay in after the rest. I absolutely can just stay in here and go for gunk shot. If I wake up and hit him, gunk shot kills. Is there a better play though is the question. I assume it's HP ground as well as what I probably need to assume here. Do I have anything with like... Flying or levitate? Nope, I do not. I think my play here is oddly enough just stay in for now and gunk shot. So I gotta stop switching out, man. I make way too many switch plays in randoms. He does have a consistent kill clock on me though, which is a little scary. Black Sludge is coming in hugely handy here. He's gonna make a switch play? Crazy. I wonder if I'll go for the belly drum line noon play. Oh, it's so risky against me here. So Oh, this is crazy. 
Is he really risking the game on a gunk shot? Hit slash miss? But the meme is I should be able to bring in Hariyama afterwards and he shouldn't be able to kill me and I should be able to close combat. Okay. So what's about to happen is that my opponent's going to belly drum. I'm going to wake up. Um, hopefully hit gunk shot. He's going to belly drum. Get his citrus berry. I think this is still my best play, oddly enough. Maybe I'm dumb. A guav berry. I don't know what the fuck that does. I healed more. Wake up, hit the gunshot, 36%. If we, get, if we get a Toxic here, it'd be really, 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 really good. Don't get a Toxic. Man, that's that's unfortunate. It's a 30% chance of Toxic with Gunshot. Um, this might sound insane, but he might actually not be able to KO me with Extreme Speed here. Yeah, because Swalot is so tanky. This Swalot has basically... Oh, I missed the Gunshot. That's okay. The Swalot has essentially, like, kind of taken out two Pokemon. It's a little awkward because I have to like, I have to answer this Linoon still, which is super awkward. Um, this thing isn't Rocky Helmets. I think I just sacked this thing, unfortunately, just for Shadow Claw. Okay, that's okay. Um, from this play, I just bring in Hariyama, I think, and go for CC. I should be able to live everything he has. He could have Aerial Ace, I guess. That'd be pretty scary. It's stream speed is going to be higher prio than bullet punch or, or, or ice shot or any of my prio moves. I just have to bring this in and go for the CC. It's stream speed doesn't quite kill, which is what I exactly what I expected. So this is a weird start to a game. It's not really like, it's weird. It's just weird. It's just a, it's just a weird start to a game. I probably should have made the switch to Hariyama as soon as I knew the lane was belly, going to belly drum or like something like that, instead of just, just kind of sacking the the swallow like i did but it's not the worst thing in the world um do i really want to save this hariyama is it going to be faster than anything else i could bring in zangus here pretty safely i feel like that might be the play am i faster yeah i think zangus is the play because he could go for yeah, I think Zangus is the play. He could go for Quiver Dance. He could go for Toxic. If he Quiver Dances, I can kill with with Quick Attack. If he, yeah, pretty much anything. In pretty much any situation, I bring in Zangus here and I'm good. Because now I can just double edge. It's unfortunate that I'm going to take double edge damage though. But it's so worth it. I'm faster. What are the odds he's like Choice Scarf? I don't think anything ever. No, you never go Choice Scarf. Master Rain's never Choice Scarf. There's no way the devs would do that. No way the devs would troll him with Choice Scarf Master Rain. Right, guys? We saw him move multiple. Do we see him use multiple? No, he just spammed. It might be choice specs. That makes more sense, but we saw him spam hidden power earlier. I don't think he switched up moves. So he might actually be. I think he actually is. I think he's choice specs master rain. Is what it is. Um, let's see if he has a ground type or a rock type or a steel type to switch into the double edge. If so, I can follow it up with with um close combat, which is nice. Which might be enough to kill. Does bring in the Spinda. Spinda is going to take a lot of damage here. It's not faster than me as well, so I can follow it up with the... Uh... Wow, beautiful. Beautiful damage. Um, what are the odds this thing is like Sucker Punch? I think I just Quick Attack. Quick Attack should kill this thing. And if he makes a switch... Yeah, we just Quick Attack here. Plus we save HP. Yep, beautiful. Random crit. Crit definitely did not matter there. Zangus is pretty good this game. I need to be careful with it. I want to I want to always keep it if possible for Quick Attack. I don't know why he would go Spinda there. I'll be honest. Um, the attack fall kind of sucks. Um, I go double edge here. I, there's no way he's scarf. I understand specs, but not... He's scarf! I was memeing the whole time, but he's actually choice scarf mastering. Wow. We take it out, but that's... Pokemon devs, you're insane. Why are you out here? You're out here implementing crazy stuff. Uh, I think I just go Hariyama and threaten bullet punch. Or I could save it as a sack. Uh, maybe I go Fortress and set up Stealth Rocks and Vault Switch. I feel like Fortress is so good here. Fortress is only bad here if he like randomly brings out a fire type. Yeah, no, we're fine. Perfect. This is really good. So now I can set up Stealth Rocks as well as Vault Switch as well as Rapid Spin if he wants to set up, uh, to try to set up Toxic Spikes. This is really good for me. He's going to Scald me. I'm so cool with a Scald. I'm so cool with a Scald. Set up Stealth Rocks. It's a little late in the game to set up Stealth Rocks, but dude, Stealth Rocks is so good. It's so good. Breaking Sashes and everything. Uh, I think I'm going to Vault Switch play. Into what, though? What do I Vault Switch into? That's the scary thing. I don't have a great... 
It's gonna acid armor. Oh no. That's terrifying. Do I have to like... Oh no, guys. This is actually really scary. I might have lost. Seems 196 speed. Dude, how do I beat acid armor plus tentacles? So, tentacles are really specially defensive Pokemon. Oh my god, guys. How do I beat this? I oh, know I'm I'm so bad. I just bring a Mammoth Swine in EQ. What am I thinking? That's so funny. Yeah. I could set up screens here as well. I feel like I should be safe to set up light screen here and live multiple scalds or whatever from this thing. The scary thing is if he goes for another... Okay, don't burn me, please. That would be so bad. Oh, no! That's so bad. That's so bad, boys! To be fair, that the that burn means that like, light screen play didn't actually matter. Oh my god, wait, do I actually... I think I die now, too, to a scald. Actually, no, I think I live barely. No, I die. Dude, no, what? That's so sad. To be fair, with the scald, I... I, I think this tentacle literally wins him the game. That's so crazy. Acid armor... Okay, I actually... Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe this is just anecdotal experience. I think acid armor tentacle might be way too strong for randoms. How do you ever answer this Pokemon? It's way too good. Am I stupid? Am I missing something? I feel like that's way too good. Uh, I'm gonna bring in Fortress here and Vault Switch and get a little bit of chip and then switch into some- I'm slower, so at least I can get chip. H yeah, how- like, Tentacruel is a specially defensive Pokemon, like, and they can also set up its defense with Acid Armor in randoms? Like, it's so intense. Like, how are you supposed to answer this thing? I have no way to answer this Pokemon. That's crazy. I have to bring in, like, Houndoom and, like, double HP Grass. Or, like, I guess I can, like, Nasty Plot. I speed tie with this thing as well? Oh, this sucks. Do I have to risk the game? So, this is really scary. I feel like I have to Nasty Plot. I don't think I do enough damage ever. I could just, actually, I could just pray for Dark Pulse Flinches. I think that's the play. I think I pl pray for speed ties and Dark Pulse Flinches. It's 20% chance to flinch. We have Focus Sash as a backup. There's one flinch. But I need, like, so many for this to work. 30%. Show me another flinch. If I, if I flinch, I actually can, we can win. Nice calls. Oh, wait. What? Why does this call do so little damage? Wait, am I bad? Should I have just brought this in? Why does... Okay. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys also expected the skull to do literally no damage or if I'm bad. I can go for Nasty Plot here then. What? Yeah, I, I need some feedback. Let me know down in the comments. Dude, actually, this, this is kind of... The Nasty Plot's kind of risky here. No, but 20%, I should be fine. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys think I inted by not going Houndoom and expecting it to take away more damage from a Tentacruel Scald? Like, was that a bad play? I feel like I, it's, I feel like it's fair to expect this Tentacruel Scald to have done way more damage to a Houndoom. I'm really shocked by that. If it burns me, it's fine as well. Doesn't matter too much. A nasty plot here. He won speed tie there. If I can win speed tie here and get off a dark pulse, it's really, it's really, really good. Because then I keep my HP. Should be GG's if I can, if I can win speed tie here. Yep, that might be GG's. It depends what his last Pokemon are. I doubt he has any more priority left. He might actually. He might have. I have a lot of priority on my team. He might have some priority. Crawdont comes in. I have hidden power grass for this thing. I think that's. I think I do it. I think I just stay in and go for it. 87% HP. He's faster. He's Scarf. <gasps> oh, I should have. It's Scarf Crawdon hasn't been in randoms before. No, that's so sad. Ah, oh, ouch, boys. Ouch, boys. I'm not faster. Harry, I'm so slow. Um. Damn, boys. Damn, damn, damn. I just bring in Fortress and then look for a Vault Switch slash. Yeah, Vault Switch. That hurts. Not gonna lie. Yeah, CC won't kill me. I think this game is lost, but it depends what his last Pokemon is. Like, wow, the Vault Switch almost KOs. That's insane. I think my best play here... Oh, no, I can just Bullet Punch now. Wait, that Vault Switch doing that much damage is insane. Why did I do that much damage? I just Bullet Punch here and hope it kills. It should, right? 11%. Yes, it does, thankfully. Also, Choice Banded here. Dude, Fortress is putting in work. What's the last Pokemon? Weavile... I think that's going to be GG, boys. I'll be honest. Don't see myself winning this. I guess Bullet Punch is super effective. What are the odds? He can also, like, Ice Shard, I think. 
and then he'd be faster and KO me. 57%. Does it really come down to whether we can tank one attack on our fortress? Is he life orb or something? I don't I doubt it. He's probably like banded. This was a surprisingly close game. Can I live one attack? I don't think so, but we'll see. Oh, he's banded, I think. GG's, I actually win that game. That's awesome. Yeah, he was banded. He probably shouldn't have gone for Ice Punch if he was banded, though. Why did he go for Ice Punch? Did he have, like, CC or anything? Oh, wow. GG's. That was a fantastic game. Did I, wasn't I just on a four-win streak? I thought I was... Wasn't that shouldn't be five? I don't remember. Anyway, four-win streak, I guess. Incredible. Dude, fantastic games. Was that a 3-0? Question mark? I think that was a 3-0 session. We don't we don't see the, see those too often nowadays, boys. It's good to get some 3-0 sessions back in. The, back in. So we're at 540 rating. 83% win rate. 5-1. and one. Fantastic start to another season. GG's. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like if you did and subscribe for future Pokemon content. If you want to see more content after this video is over, check out all the playlist links down below. You can join the Discord to see whenever videos like this are uploaded ASAP or whenever I'm streaming on YouTube. I've been streaming on Nuzlocke recently at Pokemon Nuzlocke, which has been extremely difficult, but really, really rewarding and really, really fun. And if you want to go above and beyond uh, and hopefully potentially soon get your name shown at the end of videos, you can consider becoming a YouTube member to, member to me for five bucks a month, dropping a Twitch Prime or a Twitch sub over on my Twitch, hitting up my Patreon or my Venmo. Venmo is actually the best way to support me. If you do leave me a Venmo uh, support or Venmo, you know, donation, I do recommend leaving some sort of nickname or something in the background to let me know what you guys want shown at the, at the, at the end of the video. Perfect timing for someone to come through. I hope I don't know if you guys heard that. A little bit of a weed whacker outside, but you know what? He's doing his job and I'm doing mine. More power to him. So I hope that wasn't too loud for you guys. But anyways, GG's. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Wish you guys the best of luck. See you guys later.